Get us to say this yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for you. Oh, okay. Here we are. Oh. See you later, Rob. Like normal, Bill. Catch you up. Like normal. Like normal. He's waiting for you to do your job so you can do his. <laughs> oh, yeah, right up. Here we are. We've got a, a couple of delightful little rifles here. So this is, a, sorry, I meant to introduce it correctly. This is old shit with Bill. <laughs> what old shit are we talking about today, Bill? The old shit we're talking about today is some nice Bruno rifle. No, this is and, Bruno, not to be mistaken with CZ. No, this is Bruno. Back in the day when it was Bruno Arms. And, uh... Pretty sure it was... Uh, pretty sure it wasn't Bruno Arms. Oh, it was all... They had... Pretty sure it isn't what they called it. If anybody in this room would know what it was actually, it would be... It would be Dave. Well, I mean, they were Czech. Look at your old guy. Bruno. They were Czech. The yeah. Czech Republic didn't even exist None of these Czech things were No, it was no. Czechoslovakia. Which yeah. was the Czech Republic and was Slovakia stuck together. together. Yeah, yeah anyway. the third, third time's a charm, Keith. We'll have to come down and do a uh, a video course with you at last cell. What? It's a joke for me and Keith to understand. Oh, okay. Did I invite you out? Last cell. Didn't you go to last cell? Oh, I did. And Keith teaches it now. Right. There you go. Anyway, over the years I've been lucky enough to be able to acquire anyway. <laughs> uh, a few of these little delightful little 22 rifles. Um, things come if you wait long enough. When I was about 16 or 17, I could never afford something like this. These were probably around about 50 to 60 dollars, and I was earning about seven. No, $14 a week. So it was a fair bit of money. $14 a week? Yeah. So that was what? Three and a half, four weeks wages? That's four weeks, nearly four weeks wages, yeah. Which in today's money is what? So I mean, what's, what's the average person earn on in the minimum wage now? 750 bucks a week. Does that mean that he doesn't know what he pays? Wait, does that mean my pay's gonna go up? Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> Fuck off. You earn more than me some weeks. I work more than you some weeks. <laughs> yeah, on, that's work, not the point. Hang on, I work more than you all weeks. I was going to say, I think the emphasis there is no, on I'm the work. No, I'm just saying that, that did you know, his money, that'd be $3,000. It'd did, be a $3,000 22. Did you know I figured it out? Right? Three to three and a half thousand dollars 22. If we worked out. It's all right. It's only fucking old shit with Bill, but fucking just interrupt. There you go. I if think we, you're if, the one. If I figured it out, right, how much extra hours I do in the day compared to you, I actually work a whole extra day Per week. Or per day. Or per one hour day. than what you do. Yeah, he lost his opportunity to say per day. Yeah. I work an entire day more than you per day. Per week. Well, <laughs> yeah, per day. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, oh, 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 that's funny, that is. <laughs> funny, <idiot. Right> on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, as I was saying, about, no, about, six, about uh, 55 to 60 years later, I That's what a mine you think. I could have... No, it's not yours. Is it? No, it's not. I could afford something like this. So I'm, I'm, when I see them and people want to sell them, I'll buy them. This is a, an original, completely original. 1955, this was manufactured. It's got the Czechoslovakian scope on it even, a Miopta uh, scope and set of uh, basin rings. Which it's like um, a, it's the original um, spur mount. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the spur mount that Spur copied, obviously. Yeah, that's you'd, it. you'd reckon, wouldn't you? Dirty Germans. So, all steel, beautiful, beautifully made. Steel magazine. This is a, probably a replacement mag sometime. It's a, a, a Bruno magazine body with a, a tin. Well, very... It's fucking Marinko, mate. No, it's a, no, it is a Bruno. But there's... That's an original one with a steel bottom. Yeah. And, uh, and that's what the Czechs made. They made really good quality stuff. Everything was strong, well-made machine. And you can see they, um, all their machinery left over from war when the Germans left. There's a screw missing out of them. Not that one, the other one. Well, someone's probably bedded this rifle. Better not have. But um, 
Yeah, this one's in quite nice condition. Oh. They probably just took the screw out and try and get it to shoot better. Yeah, yeah most likely. Um, the floating barrel. Interesting thing about it, uh, Bruno at the same time were making the old ZKW465 Bruno Hornet and the barrels I'm absolutely certain are the same. They've got the same front and rear sights on them. And as we found out this week, this week, last week, this week, when we when we did that Bruno barrel, you did that Bruno. Yeah, barrel. When, when I did that Bruno barrel, don't get right mean to this shit. <laughs> I um, I found out. Well, refresh my memory. Um, these the twenty two LR barrel is bore diameter of two two three. Uh, no one barrel. The Hornet barrel. The, no, the LR barrel. Well, the LR triple two or two two one or something. No, these are two two three. They're mm -hmm. exactly the same as the Hornet. The Hornet, the early Bruno Hornets are all two two three bore diameter, as right, opposed to rifle diameter. Rifle diameter. So, a, a court, as opposed to nowadays, they're all two two four, so, as is the triple two. 223, 22 to 50, all the 22 caliber centerfire rifles are all 224 rifle diameter. But Bruno, I suppose, an expedient move was they made all their barrels exactly the same for the Hornet and for the LA. Well, I don't know. Who else was making Hornets back in the 1940s and 50s? Not many people. Winchester made a Model 70. Did they? In 22 Hornet, yeah. What board did they use? They would have probably used 224 because in America everyone was using 224s. Mm. The rifle diameter for their, all their triple two, like the 219 zipper. Mm. Um, what else do they have? The 22 wasp, all those. When was the 23 invented? 55. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, 65. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just before the well, so, early in the Vietnam War, we so, it was it was triple two Magnum beforehand, oh, wasn't it? And triple two Remington. Yeah. yeah. And then they settled on two two three, which is between the two. Yeah. But um, they've evolved a little bit in that the Bruno went from their Model One rifle to their Model Two, and then as the company structure has changed a few times, and they've gone to become CZ um, and they're in a different factory and so on. Well, their factory burnt down in the early 70s, yeah, didn't they? Right, yeah. And then when they remade, they made a few Model 2s still from parts, but then they went to the 452 or something, was it? Or? Yes. Well, when it became CZ. Yeah. Uh, well, it became CZ when the wall came out, didn't it? Or was it CZ before that? No, uh, I'm not sure. No, no, it was probably about that time, yeah, when, when uh, capitalism took over, or you know, they become more private enterprise type firms, uh, whatever. But um, yeah, and they made a few changes in the, in the old Model One. The um, safety catch when it's in the off position is in line with the ball, and that is safety on, and it locks the bolt and locks unloads the trigger so that it doesn't matter if you press the trigger it's not going to go off and then that's safe uh, that's fire position this is a model 2 and for whatever reason they changed it so that the um, safety in the off position in the fire position is at right angles and you well sorry you push it right around that way to so it's above comes above the bolt so the first thing I guess it's an indicator as well to show you that when you go to, to fire the gun, the first thing you see is the safety catch is over the, over the bolt. It doesn't actually... I don't know if it's any better or ergonomic or what, but... No, probably not. But they made a few, few other changes to it as well. And the Model 1, the trigger system was, was really a miniature of the Mauser 98 had a, a, a rocking system on the trigger that drew, pulled the sear out of engagement. Whereas when they went to the Model 2, 
they change it quite dram dramatically. They've got a separate interrupter and the trigger catches the interrupter and when you press on the trigger, which is a great big long thing with an adjuster, it has a, a minor a weight adjusting system on the back of it there. Doesn't, doesn't give you much adjustment, but it does give you a bit. But, um, and they're... Um, Shit. Yeah, they are. They're that trigger system is one of the worst designs ever. <laughs> It's got a very low mechanical advantage, it so it's very hard to get them to be nice and crisp and light and still safe. Yeah. And the ball bearing that's in there that actuates it <laughs> on the spring is an absolute prick of a thing to get into place. Well, funnily enough, you should say that, but this one, <coughs> and there's, this is some of the little variations that um, CZ, Bruno, whoever, whoever they made them at the time, this one's got a little pin through there and a, a plunger in there. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, it hasn't got the ball bearing. It's got a plunger in it, but it's captured by a um, cross pin, um, which makes it much easier to take the trigger apart and, and do any work to it if you want to. Um, but most of them, and I don't know where, where it came and went, um, have a little ball bearing and the spring under there. And it's, it's, um, no, it's got a ball bearing in it. You reckon? Yeah. Uh, that pin that you're talking about is just the pin that retains the seat. What do you reckon? That's got a ball bearing. Take it apart, find it. No, oh, okay, I'll take your word for it. But some, <laughs> of, them, some of them have got a rock. Uh, I'll rock. take your word. Yeah, I'll take your word on that because plunger again. I can't believe they manufactured that for any length of time without going. You know what? That's an absolute prick of an idea. We could do better than that. <laughs> you reckon yeah. they did that once upon a time? It's either that or whoever the inventor of this gun was. His misses of getting knobbed by gunsmith. And he said, How am I going to get back at the world of gunsmithing? Gunsmiths all across the world, how am I going to fuck them? I know, I'll put a ball bearing in this trigger to actuate it, and it's going to take them fucking hours to get the bastard back in. No, it doesn't. If you know what you're doing. Well, it's not like our gunsmiths go home fucking tired, because one of them doesn't do fuck all. Well. Do it. <laughs> Very, it's such a good idea. No. Take it apart and it's put it back well together on the camera. You go home and knob someone. Be in mind, <laughs> I've only got six percent battery. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be right. Yeah? I reckon the, the inventor of CZ got together with the inventor of the Browning BLR. You reckon? They thought, we're going to ruin gunsmiths. Yeah, well, make sure no one can ever make any money out of out of gunsmithing again. Well, that's bullshit. Yeah. If you've got a BLR and you want a trigger job done, Zane is the man. <laughs> I am the man, but I've been prepared to pay for it. He loves it. Um, okay. yeah, he ever tells me to fuck off every time I book one in, so... Another, another Actually, feature... Actually, he built it the last one, so he's the next one. Yeah. Another feature that, um, <clears throat> that came and went with uh, Model 1, a, a milled steel um, magazine box. Beautiful. Probably not a better one made in the world ever. No, because they went to plastic. So they went I've to smash two of them in the mine. <laughs> so they, they decided the bean counters got involved and said, we've got to make these rifles cheaper. And someone said nastier, but they didn't believe that. And they did. They made a plastic magazine box. And they're not not that flash. No, they, they crack through where the screws are tight. People do the screws up too tight and, mm, and brush them. Crush them. Um, they, some of the early ones I've seen sort of rotted away. They're really piss poor. But even today, CZ 452s and 455s are, are well liked and, and, and people, people do buy them because of the quality. But absolutely, Model 1s and Model 2s would beat them hands down for quality. For well, if you, if you hadn't picked one up before, it's hard to appreciate yeah. the, the Model 1s and just how nicely they are made. Yeah. Yeah. So they've got a little plunger underneath the bolt handle in there, which goes into a plunger on the side of the action. So when you shut the bolt, it positively clicks shut and the bolt can't just fall open. You know what I'm saying? Like there's that little detent there that the bolt handle clicks onto. Click. A little positive 
thing. And it's just little things like that, you know, that, that make these things special. So, like fucking antiques roadshow or something, yeah. So you've got the locking lugs. You've got one locking lug underneath here, which locks up in the sidewall. And then you've got the bolt handle itself, which works as a locking lug. So you've got a double lock up system. In the new CZs, they got rid of the second locking lug. They only lock up on one lug. Um, of course, it's just better. to make it a little bit cheaper to make, you know. Oh, that, that's the only thing. The bean counters, the accountants got to it and told the engineers they had to make them cheaper. Yep. And so these are all the little things that have come out in the last 40 or 50 years, yeah. which is a damn shame. There's a lot of really good things about the, the early CZs. They had their own mounting system though, they had yeah. their own rings. That's right. And that's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Because but I mean, 3.8 hadn't really been, you know, established as a no. standard for rim fires back in the 1940s. There's the, the, two, the two different widths of... of um, Hang on. There's, there's a standard today... Maybe you shouldn't have put that in the gimbal. <laughs> There's a standard today, a 3.8 wide dovetail, or 11, 11 mil, 10 mil. I don't know if that helps. And, uh, but CZ had their own. And also with a little pl plug that uh, stopped the mounts sliding backwards and forwards. Of course, under the Savage Recoil of a 22 mil. <laughs> yeah, under a Savage Recoil. Uh, but, uh, what is it, like 5.8 or something? Or? It's about 5.8. It's, it's, I think uh, Parker Hale used it too on their... Yeah, right. on their rifles. It was it was relatively common in in um, the 40s and 50s, 60s maybe. Uh, a lot of the Model 2s, I think some of the early Model 2s had the had this system. They did. Mm. Early Model 2s had this. Yeah, early ish right. model Model 2s, and. Um, Yeah, that's a, yeah. These are those three rifles, all 90, made in 1955. So. so that was the changeover. Because I've seen Model Ones made from 1948 to 1955. Yeah. And then I've got a Model Two, which is made in 1955. Yeah. So it must have been the date, the year they went to Model Two. Yeah. And then I've got them reading up until like the 1970 or something. Yeah. Right? But I think it went up to like 74, even though the factory burnt down in 72 or something, yeah. they still had parts that they made available. Yeah. So, they were well sought after rifle, even in, you know, especially when I was a, a young young shooter in my teens and early 20s. These were the rifle to get. If you, if you get one of the good 22, this is the one. But you couldn't afford it? I couldn't afford it, no. What did you buy? Winchester Model 600 cool. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, um, and then a Ruger 1022, of course. Yeah. Like it, like it, it was almost compulsory in those days to buy a Ruger 1022. Yeah. <laughs> of course. And it should be. Yeah. And a 303, of course. Yeah, that's right. So this one's had its lug removed, hasn't it? That's that's a a, a late model. Well, relatively, 89, I think it was made, this one, yeah. the 89, Model 2, and it was probably made like that. Well, there's a pin where the where the lug would have been, there's a mark there, uh, it's someone, just been reprofiled, I think. Someone must, have, someone must have had it out and cleaned it up and re-blued it, because it's a different colour to the action. Have a look at the writing, it's the spike and the yeah, scuffed yeah, away, it's a bit different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can see where they've they reprofiled it. It's yeah. low through there. Yeah. So that's obviously where... So it would have had a separate lug that sat there yeah. um, on the barrel, which would have had the screw come through the stock into the yeah. lug to hold it in. Now it's only got that one there, which yeah. is a bit silly. What we would do is put... you still retain that one, but then we would put another screw in the rear of the tang there yeah. in a dovetail... Yeah, sleeve, a la like what Lithgow do now. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lithgow copied it, so obviously. That's right. Um, to screw into it. Whereas these, that's machined in in situ. You know, that's yeah. machined into the profile, right. and then they just put dovetails in it for the block and the sight. And that's that's another thing. Well, I know it's it's um it's funny. The Bruno water barrel is exactly the same with that style of mm. of, of um, 
uh, barrel with that exactly same same style of yeah. sight and the same front rear front sight as well. And the funny part also in the 60s when Sport Co were making rifles, you'll see some of their rifles uh, it's profiled exactly the same as this. Mm. And I'm suspicious that Sport Co bought CZ barrels in those days yeah, yeah. and put them in their, in their rifles. So they came exactly the same as that in the Sport Co rifles, which is another well, bit of old shit that we could talk about sometime. I've got some Sport Co rifles. Fuck with Sport Co. Hey? Bloody beautiful rifles. Oh, hey, look at me, I'm not really that interested. <laughs> I'm sure you don't but if you do come across a nice CZ manufactured, you know, 1960s, 70s or earlier, um, definitely worthwhile considering buying it because they don't make them like they used to. They are a very well-made firearm, um, even for their, for their era. Yeah. And, uh, well, they were made because they were... It's probably the fault. They were, they were just made. <laughs> Don't no find faults in there anymore. <laughs> they were made and there was no um, no impediment in cost because they were told you make 10,000 rifles this year and, and they just paid everyone to do do that and whether they made yeah. a profit out of them or not. Yeah. The um, But it was also back in the day where you could afford to pay someone a fucking yeah. harsh anyway. Mean, and you only have to look at the old... Um, Bruno, model, 60, <laughs> model 600, 601s and 602s um, were the same quality. They were beautifully made, all machined, a, a modified mouser action with a, with a full length extractor, but a better trigger and set triggers you could buy on those uh, 600s in those days, model 60. I've got a couple of set triggers out there, like Pretty set good. trigger blocks, double set triggers for setting no. into like Morza. No, they're more. Fuck off, though. More. Um, well, you wouldn't have to use them. So I got a single set on my on my Weatherby actually. Yeah, it's it's really good. Cool. Yeah, I didn't even know about that. <laughs> Someone pointed it out to me. Um, but it would be a good idea to rip off actually. But yeah, cool. Lovely little, lovely little rifle. That one. Looks to me like it's in original condition. Never been, never been tampered with it whatsoever. All the uh, engra engraving is like brand new. The, the logo, the date marks, proof. The blue one's really nice. If anything, the blue's rubbed off the bolt handle yeah. on the top of the bolt handle, probably because it's been left in a bag you know, and rubbed around in yeah. a bag. And people brushing, you know, yeah, you know, using it. Um, Quite clearly, the uh, stock maker, you know, got all of his, all of their knowledge from Slazenger. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> but they are, using, they're instead of nice... using two cricket bats, they just use the one. Yeah. This, this old girl, I think, I don't think the uh, metalwork has been touched. Certainly not the scope. It may be original finish, but it may have been... Recon. I don't think so. I don't think it has, because look at how yeah. proud it is of the butt pack. Yeah, that's right. No. If anyone refinishes them, they always... You yeah. take some off the wood stock and then the butt pads don't fit properly, yeah. you know, so... It no, may, may well be original, but a couple of nice examples of, um, of the old yeah. Bruno, which... Um, Very nice, so... Hard and hard. For your people at home, let us know what... What rifle was you inherited from your parents and grandparents? What do you reckon you're going to inherit them? No, I don't think I'm going to inherit them. I reckon that they're going to probably end up going to your fucking grandkids. Well, I don't right. reckon I'm going to get any of them. No. I'm looking at any of them. What do I get? What was the first rifle? What was the first rifle? No, well, first. What, what is the first rifles that my son has got? Mind you, it's his third birthday today. <laughs> yeah. He got two, two not number ones, didn't he? No. Uh, or model ones. Got? Got a Bruno sometimes. No. You've given him a Bruno not model one. You've given him a fucking collector's item. And what's the other one that he's got? Another CZ. CZ bloody anniversary, anniversary model. A fucking anniversary model that bloody Craig Lewis gave yeah. yeah. Beautiful brand new CZ. What was my first rifle? Oh, you were lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I 
We've got a martini. Fucking martini. <laughs> Fucking single shot martini <laughs> in three, five, seven Magnum. Well, there you go. My, I, your first custom rifle. Yeah. There you go. How many times did you shoot it before you pulled the gun apart? <laughs> yeah. No, I only shot it a couple of times and he sold it. Right? Yeah. Well, I shot it at 300 metres. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was a... It was a the new sniper rifle, we mm. because the guys in the pit, in the, down in the target, couldn't hear it go off. They just hear tick. <laughs> just hear the bullet go through the target. Yeah, stop the bullet go through yeah. the target. No, it was good. Well, yeah, let us know what rifle was used to. have a cadet sitting there, so you can always turn one back into it for him. There you go. So he, so he can stop his winch. Yeah, stop his winch. Yeah, 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 357 barrel line. Now, that actually had the original 310 barrel that had been re bored and re rifled. <laughs> Oh right, yeah. Because you can't but you can't re-button rifle a barrel. No, you have to cut rifle. Yeah, well, it would have been because Lindsay Maris did it all. Yeah, right. Yeah, he made a rifling machine and bloody. Yeah, it would have been a cut rifle then. Yeah, did the whole thing. He's a clever bloke. And and it, you know you know how well it's right. You know? Yeah, yeah. Three hundred yards, you could hit a bloody. How did it go with a good shooter? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some of them. We got pretty sick of it pretty soon, mate. <laughs> but um. um now, is that any different so from any of your rifles now? <laughs> but just made luckily, it. luckily he didn't get to pull them apart. But he got um got to use a uh, a lovely old ZKW four six five Bruno Horner. Who? You did. No, I didn't. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that rifle. Oh, no. Or did um, or was it the six six mil PPC? The PPC. I tried to use the PPC. I got to He's walk around and still wish about it. You remember that? Yeah. You had that 2250 and I carried that 6 mil, that That's fucking right. big heavy 6 mil PPC around. Yeah. I had Shooting the rabbits and boxes and shit. I had an old Parker Hale in 2250. Wasn't it a Ruger? Model 1? I had one of them. I had one of each. I thought, <laughs> oh, it was a, I can't remember. No, it was a Ruger I turned into a 2250. It was right. in 270. Yeah, it was in 270. Yeah. <clears throat> and a bloke, a bloke we know, but he had a Winchester. Model 70, and uh, he made a blue and loaded 19 grains of a pistol powder or shotgun powder into his triple two. And yeah, it come, come to bits. And it come to bits, funnily enough. But the barrel was still okay, so I recut the chamber to 22 to 50 and screwed straight into me Bruno, and to me Ruger, same thread. Uh, head spaced it, and Christ the mighty, I shot that for bloody four or five years. Shot a heap of boxes with it. But it worked well. I've still got the, the root in action here. It's actually a, uh, still licensed as a triple two. <laughs> um, I'll have to pull it out and give it to the And you've got another Ruger Mark One. So M77 Model One. Yeah, the Mark original, One. The original. The original ones with the tank safety. Yeah. You got one of them in 22 to 50. Yeah. And I started building the one in 6.5 by 47 with a puller fucking 12 years ago and I haven't done anything with it. I've got a beautiful piece of walnut for it and everything. I'm just, I've got to spend some time. Well, when I retire, we'll do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, Trent, come around here. What for? Because you're going to have to talk about something. Why? Because you haven't done Friday Night Live for like fucking eight oh, weeks or something. The fan club is bloody... Well, it's only been three. You've got them back. The fan club is busting at the bloody... Hello, well, everybody. How are you? I know you've all missed me because you've all been telling me about it. Look at that, straight away. Hi. Hi, Mario. How are you? Hello, everybody. Any comments on any of the Brunos and yeah, stuff? Yeah, Richard's asked mm -hmm. micro rifling. Micro Groove. I think Ooh, he's talking about that's what I'm made popular by Marlin Firearms. Micro Groove rifling. So instead of having, you know, four or six grooves, you have like 16 grooves of rifling. They're little tiny grooves and they're very shallow, but there's a lot of them. Um, and the idea was to shoot jacketed projectiles much better. And they did do pretty well, you know, they didn't foul up as much and they performed well, but they shot. Uh, cast projectiles, shit, and everyone complained about it. And they changed micro groove rifling to 12 grooves, I think it was. Um, and then, yeah, so that's what micro groove rifling is. There you go, Richard. It never, didn't change the world, but it was something that Marlon put a lot of time and effort into. And it worked well for jacketed projectiles, not very well for cast projectiles. Cast projectiles, you want nice, deep, chunky rifling. Fair 
All right, what are we up to then? So yeah, no, I've been off for a few weeks. A um, couple of uh, prior engagements and then... And couldn't be fucked. And then a course. Yeah. Unless I'm here, it doesn't happen, basically. Yeah, what's well, his phone? So <laughs> because there's two other phones here. None of them do it. That one doesn't do steel, remember? What the actual phone doesn't have? Yeah, that's have right. you tried using one of the like? No, we put it on and it doesn't the sound does not go. Yeah, through. but if you plug in an external microphone like we always normally do, it'll probably work. No, it doesn't. So we'll test it sometime. You don't know that it doesn't. You haven't tested. You it. don't know that it does. Obviously, no, I would at least try. No, you wouldn't. And then you got the Samsung as well. Trent, what's your opinion on the gel blasters? I think it's an overreaction. Um, what is? Banning them. But, yeah. I've got a couple of different opinions on that because I actually believe we were lied to to begin with. And I don't really want to... I would like to throw a big blast out there to a particular group of people, but I won't, who informed me how many months ago? A number of months ago that gel blasters were illegal in WA. Yet they've only just changed the uh, the laws on it now. So, yeah. You're um, talking about police firearms licensing. Told you that they were illegal. Yeah. So I was told they were illegal a few months ago um, and that I had to stop selling the CO2 canisters to power them. We got quite a bit of a backlash over that. People were having a soup because Cause we started, re because we were told that, and for other reasons, and because kids fucking get them and, and, and like, them. nail them, <laughs> we stopped selling mangs to people yeah. unless you presented a firearms licence, and then we had all sorts of people soaking about that. So you just can't make anyone fucking that. No, nah, that's right, but I say, uh, yeah. you tell lies the other way and you get in trouble. You can tell lies our way and it seems fine. But anyway, um, do the right thing if you do have a gel blaster, hand it in, don't get caught. Big fine, not worth it, especially if you've got normal firearms or regular firearms as well. I've thought about rendering gel blasters. <laughs> so we get so, take the barrel so, out and just put a solid bit of alley in no, there no. and then take the, the actual firing mechanism out and then you can just keep it as it, like an imitation fire. It'll be fine if we just fill the barrel up full of hot glue. <laughs> I don't think that one, that one, yeah, no. no. If you fill it up full of hot glue, you can't shoot. Yeah, but it was warm it up in the boat. Right there. Like, it's not really out of the Like, the rendering specifications are a little bit more fucking onerous than that. Would you like your gel blasters rendered? Let us know in the comments. I'm not going to do it, but, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it's not all work. Fucking time. Ask Bill to do it. No, no, but, oh, that's the thing. Oh, we've got a roster to do it. Fuck it. How humorous would it be that everyone that's, like, you can't have a gel blaster, yeah? But so, you can have it if it just doesn't fire. Yeah, we well, can have a replica. So, so the, some, some of the, so, some I of the, would just do it as a big fuck you to McGowan because yeah. this is like, it's just an absolute absurd piece of legislation that's going to achieve nothing. No. And all these people, or even the police and everything coming out on, which one's real, which one's not? Yeah. Who gives a fuck? It doesn't matter. One well, of them, sh the gel blasters are not dangerous. Like, well, it well, doesn't matter if they, and I fucking hate to tell you this, but if you're a police officer and you rock up and a 12 year old kid goes running past you with a P90, I've got a feeling it's not a fucking real P90. Right. Like, well, there's something, the something in me says, mm, no, nah, that's yeah. probably not real. But here's the other thing. They're prohibiting these gel blasters. Oh, and that'll be, that'll, there'll never be another one in society. And yet you're worried that they're imitating something that you banned fucking 30 years ago. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah. they shouldn't be, the, the thing that they're imitating shouldn't be in society either. Yeah. And so what are you worried about? And you're right, Keith, yeah. The minister did consult with the firearms industry. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, that's right. No, he didn't. Oh. And yeah. why would he? Why Sorry. Would the, why would the <laughs> firearm? Because these things were never classified as a firearm. They had nothing to do with the firearms industry. No one spoke to the firearms industry. You know how I know? Because I'm the secretary of the fucking yeah. firearms industry body. And no one spoke to the firearms industry about gel blasters. And no one from the from the firearms industry spoke to licensing about gel blasters. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was no, there was no conversations that were had there. This was just a reactionary thing done by the police minister um, without any consultation or anyone. I think and that's the wrong thing to do. The thing that got me was when, when they, you know, press release, they said, oh, just get a better hobby. Like, that yeah. was just arrogance. There's a lot of that going around. Get a better hobby. Um, yeah. That's your hobby. That's your hobby. You know, get a better job. Go yeah. work on the mines. Yeah, it's like, it's like, you know, 
That's like saying the, and it's the arrogance of the, mm. the of the liberal government where they've said, oh, we just need to have a better go, you know, when fucking Joe Hockey just said, well, if you can't afford whatever it was at the time, just go get a better job. Like, yeah. it's, it's an arrogant fucking naive comment. And it's, and that's exactly what. If you're homeless, just go and buy a house. Just buy a house. Or, right? get, a, or get, get a job and then buy a house. It's like, yeah, it's like yeah. that easy. So, yeah, I don't really agree with it at all, to be honest, but. I think I don't think prohibition has ever worked. Prohibition. And I don't think it's going to work in this in this instance. You but, give me back my but, alcohol. I mean, ultimately, it's a it's a campaign of fear and misinformation. Absolutely. And that's what we've got to stand up against. Oh, that's that's what firearms is about, isn't it? It's always about fear. And no, no, that's what politics is about. Oh, sorry, politics based on firearms. We're based on any. Yeah, we're any. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, moving on. But it was good to see that one of the smaller media groups actually gave a presentation oh, that's right. yep. without too much there is awesome. a there is a link to that on um our facebook oh, a couple of hours ago yeah i think there's a link on there's a link on my personal facebook yeah. page yeah that's right oh, yeah. i spoke about it you got to have a good to have a chat with the journalist yeah. and, and and actually pull apart a gel blaster yeah i've never seen one before well not again I've never and it's not it. something I've got any interest in. I don't have any interest, interest in the sport. I don't want to work on the fucking things. But it's not the point. Is what I've said before. It's not the point. The point is, is that you've got a government that's quite prepared to lie to the population in order to garner a little bit of popularity. Yeah. I think that was the bit I was most disappointed about. And scapegoating an entire industry, ruining an entire industry. For a little bit of, for a few votes, you know? But also, he doesn't need the votes. No, but no, John Howard didn't need the votes in yeah. 97 when he banned guns as well. It's not about that. Mm. No. It's not about the last election, it's about the next election. So yeah. Joys. So, yeah. Anyway. Moving on. We have got in the new IAM third, uh, thermal scopes. Everyone's got them in. Yeah, but I don't know about everybody else. I only yeah. know about my shop. We have them here. No, I'm just spewing because Alexander's got theirs before it. Oh, bloody Alan. Fucking Alan. Bloody Alan. Alan. He's going to ring us up tomorrow and be like, Hey, superstars, what's going on? <laughs> bloody Alan. Fucking I can't even do his accent. I'm just not prepared to get on my knees like Alan and get the stuff. Is that, is that <laughs> what it is? Quicker. That's what it is. <laughs> Polishing Keith's knob. I bet you that's how he oh, got his. That's I bet you rough. that's how he got his before So, So, which one have we got there? We've got the first one. This is the IA. 617. 617. So this is the mid range? Yeah, the numbers are all fucked up. Yeah, well, 612 is, 612 is the top, 617 is the middle, and 317 is the bottom. Yeah, that's right. So, so this is the middle one. This is the one that I reckon is going to be the biggest. This will be the big. This is the best value for money, too, because it's got all the same features as the top one. Not quite as much magnification, oh, but the out. same size chips and the stuff. So, and, yeah. yeah. So the actual resolution of it will be similar. And it's. So just with the other one, you can crank it up a bit higher, but it'll pixelate more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'd, you know, if, without having tested all, all three of them extensively, I would say that this would be the pick. Yeah, that's right. So, so in my uneducated opinion. Yeah, well, I haven't, we haven't got to use one yet. We've only had to play with them at the shop. Super simple to use. Basically, they've got this one. one's This one's sold, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's Teddy's. Is, do you put your money down on it? No. Well, I'm taking it out and shooting it. Yeah, it's okay. it. yeah. So, ah, you hear that, Ted? So it's got one button to use it. You can also twist it. One button and one button. It's really complicated, yeah. Yeah? yeah? So you push that in or you can twist that. That's you, it. You so can also control it on the app. So very, very easy to use. Mag, uh, focus rings at the front. The twisty bit that Zane was alluding to is your magnification in and out as well. And all the menu is uh, controlled by that button. You turn it on and off with that button too. But so that's like your baby boomers control. And then you can control it for everyone else. You can control it on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> and you can control it on your phone. We did have a cool sort of yeah. thing where we, did. we downloaded the wrong app. No, no, we downloaded the correct app. It's just that I, this didn't come with the did. Mandarin dictionary. Yeah, well, it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if it was the right. apps in Chinese. If, if <laughs> it was the wrong app, you've got to use the app. Although well, it, it's on the box, not in the... Uh, not in the instruction. It's menu. the only app that I could use. But we will, yeah, because you've got an old phone. It's not old. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just look at the fucking Bruno's talking about how good they are. Yeah, that doesn't mean you sound like an electronics. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> power on, please wait. 
Absolutely. So can, oh, can, you, can you pass me that remote? Bill. There you go. Oh, so just, it takes yes. about six seconds to power up. Has it got a standby mode? Yeah, sure. I think so. Um, but don't look through it while you're turning it on. Wait for it to turn on first. It right. flashes really bright for a like, yeah, it does, doesn't it? tiny little bit. That's right, get better eyes. Uh, okay, so you've got your eye focus on the rear. Yep. Yep, ocular. Which, ocular, which does all your, focuses your menu. Yeah, you and yeah. then on the front is your objective focus. So I can look at Bill and focus it right here. So I can focus it right back to like me and Bill sort of distances. And I've got to say, the resolution on these things is absolutely incredible. Like, I can see the difference in colour between the wrinkles on his forehead and his eyebrows <laughs> and that sort of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, his nose is cold, his glasses are cold, his eyes are red hot, his hair... It's you can see through eye. bits in his hair, bits of his hair are hotter I'll, than other I'll bits of real. I'll find it. Like, it's just absolutely yeah. incredible, the resolution on this thing. No, that's not it. Darkness can be your friend until... That's that's their video, oh, the cheesy one. Video. Oh, that's their video. Isn't well, it? you can find their video online. We don't want to watch it. Yeah, and they're going to be linked onto Facebook in time. But I put a video up this afternoon. No, it's, you, you could pass it's it. Back, it's back there. Where? Two, two across, one more across, that's it. Is it yours? That's yeah. a video. That's the one I did. Well, there you go. So this is... Uh, you guys probably know him as... Uh... <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> But this is Dave, he took one home last night so he could have a play around and give us a look at, um, you know, how it worked. He found this cat. Um, it's not his, it's, let, it's his neighbours or I let, something. I let it into their house. So he let himself <laughs> into their house. No, good on him. It's and, actually, um, it, yeah. It turns out they actually feed their cats live mice because they're a bit weird, his neighbours, but that's what you get in Serpentine. <laughs> and, um, Fear and misinformation again. No, 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 no. no You're as bad as they are. It is. Um, Later on, he actually murders his cat. <laughs> That's a bit rough, isn't it? Yeah, fire but, murders for you. But as you can see there, he's going through all the different reticles. Um, you probably can't see it on the screen here, but you will be able to see if you look up, like scroll down a little bit. Yeah. Well, if you guys want to have a look at it, you just yeah. come in and I can throw this up on our TV yeah. in the shop and show you. And I'll chuck it on YouTube on so, Wednesday. As you can see, like, I don't know if you can zoom in on that, Dave. Can you zoom in on that? Nah, screen's broken. You want to have a try? Like, hold it closer with them. Yeah, it's a different colour modes. Yeah, so as you can see, like, the resolution on it is absolutely superb. Um, oh, look at that. That's your red hot, or what do they call it? That's iron bow. Iron bow, something like that. It's an absolutely awesome setup. You know, they're just a, a really well thought out and well designed thermal that is not going to break the bank. So, but in saying that, there's heaps of them coming out, but mm. this is the one that we've chose to, to put on the shelf. So get in, have a look. I've actually only got, I think, one left that's not sold. But get in, have a look. Quite happy to show you in the shop. Uh, what's the refresh on it? It's about a minute, isn't it? Oh, uh, three you minutes. Do, you can do one minute, three minutes, or five minutes, or turn it off. Yeah, so it'll actually do like a little bit of a pause, and then it'll come back on it. You, but it's not like it drops out or anything. It's you, be, just, you barely notice it. Yeah, it's it's fuck all. So you, and, and and it's counting down, so you know not to take a shot at that time. Oh, yeah, there's an entire ballistics app in here as well. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Uh, it's also got a oh. single shot auto zero, as well as a manual zero, as well as a yeah. manual zero. Um, it's, you can trigger your shots. I think you can hold up to eight different profiles in there as well. Yeah, there's so, um IPX67 waterproof. Yep, yep, IP, so you can... IP, IP67, yeah. Yep, so yeah. you can drop it in the water and it yeah. only dies after it goes down a metre or whatever. Battery life is like eight hours. Yep, battery life is eight hours. Um, with two um, 18650s. Yep, and they're running on the 18, uh, yeah, 18650 battery, so two yeah. of them. Uh, comes with a charger, comes with a little carry case. They are going to be the duck's nuts, and I think get yourself one because... Yeah. You're going to miss out and wish that you had more. This is the way that everyone's going, yeah? If I had the money, I would have invested in this stuff, you know, five or six years ago. But the, for what you get value for money now is far better than what it was. But yeah. You can also use it during the day. Like, it's um, it's, <clears throat> it's a relative contrast system instead of it being, um, like, you can shoot it in any lighting condition. Yeah, it's not you like know, night. You know, zero during the day. So... 
There you go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back to these guys. Whoa. Cats. Yeah. Cats it really is though. You really need to get in here and have a look at it because the resolution's insane on this thing. And it's definitely not. Remember when the uh, the LTO tracker came out? Oh yeah, that's and, a, that's a stud finder and a fucking. And it just know. it really just. Unfortunately, disappointed a lot of people. This is very different. This will not disappoint you. You'll come in and you'll just go. But the, the tracker was, it was a $1,500 item when it first came out. Well, yeah, a $400 right. item. That's right. And it was, it was a, it was a catalyst, if you like, for, yeah. the, for the industry. For causing, you know, these, basically. Mm. But yeah, that's how it comes in this little pack. So, all the gear, all the good gears in there. Yeah, yeah, if you're, um, if you need to, you can just, uh, the, 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 uh, the receipt will have Beacon Engineering written on it and you can just tell your missus it's a stud finder for, for finding wall studs. My missus has got a stud finder at home. <laughs> it's her eyes. She just walked us again. Oh, there's Trent. <laughs> oh, I just go like, Steph, what's the time? So if there was like a white hot like I a, know white hot, that's what it is. If there was a white hot thermal tracker, you would look black in it, is what you're saying. <laughs> Just, really, there's the stud. Cool as ice. Yeah. Where's the bedroom? Looking around with a... It's over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Steph's not watching. I don't she know, probably will be. There's lots... Well, there's one smiley face come up. <laughs> but, you know, like... A couple more come up. <laughs> One thumbs up? Yeah, no. Nah. Don't even worry about it, guys. Fucking. <laughs> um, so, yeah, what um, what else you got to talk about, Trent? Fuck, I don't know. But! What nerfs that? What a, I'm throwing you a bone here. Just... I bought it over, didn't I? <laughs> Guess what I got in? A couple of Night Force NX8s. NX8s are NX the latest and greatest from Night Force. Uh, anyone who tells you there's like shadowing and shit inside them is just an idiot. Uh, <laughs> it's the same as same as the other ones. It's well, just, remember when the Steiner's is the same lenses, the same internal finishes, everything's the same. You know, it's I just, am, there's well, just some spankers on YouTube that like to talk shit. I love these. This one's a two and a half to twenty. This one's got the middle C ready. How cool it? is that? Like what? a compact little scope, it's twenty pound. Brilliant, so. absolutely brilliant. Illuminated too, so illuminated yeah. reticle. And red or green. You can pick which one you want. That's I, I've been able to get that in any number of Chinese scopes for 10 years. I know. <laughs> and now, it doesn't, doesn't do it for me anymore. And now the Americans finally, are finally, finally caught up. Force are catching up. <laughs> so, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. It comes with these caps. Wow. Butler Creek caps you can buy for fuck all. I don't know. I don't care no. about the caps in your illumination reticle. It's Night Force. It says it there. But illumination's handy if you're hunting pigs. Late in the afternoon, you're starting to lose the... the uh, the sun. yeah, you're losing the sun, but you're losing the contrast oh. on your reticle as well. A couple of balls are looking into a dark thing, but yeah, no, um, love them. And then it makes it really easy to pick them up and look through them. Absolutely brilliant these things. So with such yeah. a wide magnification range and everything, yep. it makes these just a really, really good all-purpose. Like yeah. this would be really good on like a 308 or a 309 mag or something like that. You can yep. shoot a big variety of game. Under a huge, heap of different conditions, you can shoot varmints, crank it up to 20 power, shoot long range, you can shoot pigs, you crank it back to two and a half, yep. turn the illumination on, really good all, all purpose yep. scope. So very, very tactical in that, in that regard. You know, you can kick doors with it or you can go and take long shots. <laughs> Just versatile. If we can take a camp, you know, knock any tent pegs. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a hammer. Or, yeah. Uh, warranty. Lifetime warranty. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, if you, Jamie, if you're watching, Probably a few guys that come your way after that. <laughs> Japanese made. They reckon they're assembled in America, but Japanese made. What do you mean Japanese made? Assembled in America. Made in Japan. So, but they're like the tubes and everything. Yeah, and Japan. glass and all that. It's all Japanese. Yeah. And then they assemble them in America, apparently. That's actually not a bad thing. The Japanese so, do make good glass. Mm -hmm. There's actually, I think, about five or six manufacturing facilities in the world who make the best optical glass. But they make it to a specification, so it doesn't really matter if you get it from Japan or Germany or America or wherever, you know? All those three. No, there's one in there is one in China that produces glass to that sort of specification. Japan, America, Germany, there's another one in Europe somewhere. And I think one in Britain or something like that. 
I don't know Britain. if Australia's got one. They'd go around the wrong way. It'd be a funny size. <laughs> no, they just have it. It'd be a it'd be a thirty six point three mil tube or something. Yeah. And instead of having three three, three six dash forty eight screws holding it in, there'd be like eighteen fucking one mil. It'd be riveted in, hot riveted in there or something. Yeah. Well, I've got a couple of these in stock at the moment. Uh, I've got one in Mills and one in MOA, so I've got the more reticle as well. Yeah. Uh, funny enough, the more reticle has been the more popular seller so far, so that's why. Got that one. Make it better. Yeah. Just means there's more fuckheads prepared prepared to buy one of these things in MOA. Doesn't matter. We sell the fuckheads. I don't that personally at any point. I would just never have one. You know, that that one. doesn't mean it's bad. It fucking does, man. All it means is that you don't like it. That's the definition of bad. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> So we've got some more tactical scopes here if you want to have a look at some tactical scopes. Hey, I, seem to, I, seem to, I seem to recognize that, right? Yeah. So don't. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I did bring this one out. See, Zane was having a cry at me this morning, actually, this afternoon. I don't really like Steiners. Oh, they're but, a good scope for what they are, but I don't. I don't like the fact that it's zero stop point three mil on me. It doesn't have a fucking zero stop. And that's what he complained. It does. It stops. It doesn't stop at <laughs> zero. Does stop. Therefore, it is not a zero stop. <laughs> and I, he just did this so he could yell. That's all it was. He could yell. That's all it is. <laughs> they, stop at, they stop at about did, point three below zero. They don't stop know, at zero. Just because you yell loud doesn't that make you right. You can shoot something at 50 metres. I wouldn't yell so loud if you were fucking listen. Yeah, and it's it, Scooch. Way to impress customers, yeah. I say that every day. <laughs> but I don't... The Why person who bought speak? one of them... The only person who would have bought one of them in MLA was Scooch. Anyway. No, it wasn't. Oh, no, okay. So, fuck up. <coughs> but anyway, what have That's we got here? Was. So, night for us. We've got a Steiner T5XI. This is in 5 to 25 <laughs> by 56. I borrowed this off one of Bill's other guns. Yeah, um, it's been living on your 7 mil for a while, hasn't it? Well, yeah, it got shot once and then it's been living there. Uh, I think it's really good. Got his SCR reticle in it, which is very much like your TMR style reticle. Um, very easy to use. It does have all the features that you yeah. need in a long range scope. So, brilliant setup, but biggest to go is 525. What sort of coins are 5 to 25 go for? Uh, about three and a half grand, three seven, I think. Okay, off the top of my head. Mm. Um, so, little Night Force. Coming in about 3.2, 3.7, 3.8, buck nose. Like 5. 5, I think. I, so that's the big Schmidt and Bender PM2. Yep, that's 5. 5, 25, 56. 56. This is like the standard for military and um, police for a very long time. And still is used in military and police. I think these like the standard that everyone else sort of aspires. And it used to be Schmidt and Bender and everybody else. I think that's... I don't think they've stayed as... Like, they had everything that was cool before it was cool. Yeah. But now everyone else has caught up everything that's cool. Yeah. And they're not like another league in front of these. No. Before. So, getting this written bender is now more, I think, about the name rather than are you getting a better scope than anything else that's available? Don't think so. Um, still a good scope, though. Easy ish to use, depends on how you set it up. But you used to be able to, and I don't know if you still can, probably can, you can actually specify which way your turrets turn. Yeah, you can still do that. You know, so if you wanted to go counterclockwise, you can go counterclockwise. If you want to clockwise, you can do that. You know, it's... it's. What? Why would you buy that? Because you can. Because Europeans want them to go the other way. Yeah, right? well, I mean, if, if you oh, want... It, 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 it's like a Rolls Royce. Then if you want it, you want it. Yeah, You'll be prepared right. to pay for it. That's it's right. made, like they're made by one person. Like, the, or something um, like that. But the, uh, the other one is, I think... I'm not sure, but on some scopes, you can actually option to have the windage on this side. And the parallax yeah. on the other side, yeah. which I reckon makes sense for the type of shooting the way that I shoot. Well, that and Alan mean. says the same thing because Alan does it off the reticle; he doesn't adjust, and he locks in his shooting position. Who? He likes Alan. Um, Alan. Oh, Sasser, Alan. Yeah. Um, he wants to be able to adjust parallax on the right hand side while he's looking through the scope. Well, the, the Poms did that in 1944 with the 30, number 32 scope. Yep. Yeah. Whereas I hold on to the forehand and I want to adjust my windage and elevation from the left, yeah. not on the right. So I think that would actually be a good idea. 
for most people, shooting style, does a reverse at a round, or at least have the option of reversing up to a round. I'd like the bolt handle to be on the other side and just leave it the way it is. <laughs> Nobody asked you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one up, ATAC R, 7 to 35, got to like that. So you can get these in 5 to 25, 7 to 35. Yeah, you can also get them 4 to 16 and yeah, no, 1 to 8 as well, I think, yeah. from the ATAC R. Uh, brilliant scope. Once again, comes with all the Night Force goodies. 34mm tube on there. 34mm tube, yeah. Because that's still only there. That's 30mm. That's 34. That's 30. You sure? Yes, I'm 100% certain. Okay. 34, 34. And then in the last one, that's the V, uh, the Loophole Mark V, and that's a 35mm tube. Of course it wouldn't be. <laughs> and it's got a little bit more adjustment than the other ones. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. no. <laughs> Who's got the most adjustment then? Huh? Me. Who's got the most adjustment? No, they're about the same. No, they're not about the fucking same. Okay, what other than spark? We'll call it a draw. <laughs> that's 120 MOA, that's 128 MOA. In a 5 to 25 or a 5 to 7 to 35? In the 5 to 25 and in the 5 to 25, that's 120 and that's 128. In 7 to 35, that's uh, 95, no, 100 MOA adjustment. That one's 105 MOA adjustment. Oh, 5MOA. Matters when you need that 5MOA, doesn't it? Not really. You should are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, use a bit of Kentucky on yeah. it. But, oh, it makes such a big difference, doesn't it? <laughs> it fucking does make a difference. What's 5MOA? At what dis distance? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what is it in distance? Huge. Or not a lot at all. Could be a considerable <laughs> distance. Or not. <laughs> Depends what base you got on yeah, the device right. and stuff. And depends how you got it set up. So but at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, it's better off so having it and not needing it than needing it and not having it. I'd like to not have you some days. Too everyone, fucking bad. Everyone can help me out with that. <laughs> I don't think. Would you like? Is. No, there's a would little you, reason. There's a would reason you like why to go to the drags. There's a reason the scope. Would started you like to go to the drags? There's a reason the scope started at thirty mil tubes and one inch tubes and twenty six mil tubes and thirty mil tubes and thirty four mil tubes and now thirty five mil. How much adjustment does that? There's a reason I don't care. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't researched so it's too new for me. Um okay. The um probably has because it's a little short scope over yeah. short um Yeah. But there's a no not necessarily, there's a trade off and it's to do with the erector system. What rings, rings are they running? On what Simon? But if they got MD TLE rings, PRWs Fuck knows. They're night force. Are they night force rings? Yep. And then loopholes down the end. So loop on mark four, they're the night force three screw. So the, the idea is because they're wider, there's more surface area between the scope and the ring. So you don't risk crushing the scope and the scope doesn't move in the rings. Do they call them, are they there's elite? <coughs> Sorry. Do they call them? Yeah, these are the MBT elite. These are the same deal, the six screw ones. But they have got the bubble level at the bottom. Sorry. If you know that sort of stuff. If you like that sort of gear. It is important for long range shooting, but it's a big man. Good techniques as important, not more important. <laughs> it's more important. But guns is more important than a. Yeah, that's it. Working out is important, <laughs> but guns are important. No, education is important, but guns are important. Teddy, who's James May and who's Jeremy Clarkson? Jeremy Clarkson, he's a, he's a big tall one. Yeah, I know who they are. He's James May. Oh, no, <laughs> they're claiming that we are. No. So I want to know one which of those two. Is I, want know, I want to know which one is Jeremy Clarkson. I'm definitely Clarkson. Because he's a big cunt. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're hammered, you little cunt. I'll go with that. <laughs> I'm hoping to be little. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, good options in scopes. What sort of pricing are we talking about? So, we're talking about we're talking about three and a half. Yeah, so about three seven, three one, three two. Five. Uh, yep. Yeah. They're getting quite like expensive. Four, seven no, something. no, they're like nearly six now. Oh, for the seven to thirty five. Yeah, so the Night Force ATAC R's have jumped right up. And the Mark Fives at the moment normally about fourish, depending on. Well, they're on special for the next three days. They are, yeah. So any night for us or any loophole scope is, well, actually any loophole product to a point. Most of their optics, uh, not their range finders, but their binos, their scopes, and their some of their rings are all on special at the moment from the supplier. So if Get you're looking at getting into this style of mm. optic, 
or any optic if you want to get yourself a good set of binos, binos or a good spotting scope actually i have to check spotting scopes i don't know if they're on special um but anyway your rifle scopes get in now because by i think wednesday next week they will not be on special anymore and they'll jump up significantly yeah not not a huge amount but enough to make it a uh well in this sort of scope it's significant yeah it is significant so i would um yeah i'd definitely get in there and have a look get at least get a price you know see what you're what you're looking at what, are, um, what guns are they sitting on top of well seiko trg 42 this one's in 300 wind mag the guy that owns this is a bit of a strange one um <laughs> Big hands. So when was the last time you shot? I don't think he has. Yeah, I, I, I think I shot it last. Yeah. I, when I, I did him a training course, I trained him when I first took yeah. over the company. And I shot, I shot it after that when he gave me all that shit ammo that was apparently precision reload. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking it didn't go anywhere. You couldn't hit a bloody thing with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, half of them had different projectiles in them and they're all seated at yeah. different. Yeah, he, he just fucked me over. Just scratched over. Oh, just oh, stitched me up. Yeah. Then you got. Then you got a great big still attack 408, I think it is. Yep. Is that what he's running? Yep. I don't know, is this one 375 or 408? 375 Shaytac. 375 Shaytac. This guy here is uh, just a legend in the game, really. <laughs> he's probably not watching, which kind of blows it, but awesome setup. McMillan Super A5. Beautiful, beautiful gun. Milja barrel. Lilja, 34 inch barrel. One of our custom tunable muzzle brakes. So, good is setup. That, is that Teddy? No. Jonas. Jonas. Oh, yeah. And then the one down the end here with the little short length of pull, more set up for a lady. Um, fluted fore end, funny colours, you know, colours of the flag. <laughs> Pretty good. I've been told I'm not allowed to say that anymore. It's the, um, it's the pride game. I, I think it's the, yeah, it, it's a pride action, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> no, it's a no, Weatherby Mark, Mark, Mark 5. It's a Weatherby Mark 5 in 26 nozzle. Is it a USA made action or a Japanese action or a German action? This is a USA. A USA action. Yeah. I don't know what barrel's in this one. Is it? That is a TSC. TSC, highly 30 polished. 30 inch barrel. One of, tunable one, muzzle brake. Once again, one of our tunable muzzle brakes. Um, <laughs> Teddy reckons thanks, prick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the woman that owns this is um, pretty ugly, to be honest. <laughs> no, it's a custom um, Richard's microfit, but this one was custom inlet, yeah, so it, was, it wasn't ordered as a microfit, it was ordered as a blank. And then the stock maker put it all in and, and carved it all out really nicely. Took in uh, the Wunder Harmer, the, the pistol grip, and uh, carved a heap out of the stock here because there's always too much meat here, you can't get the bolts to come back. Um, and set the cheek piece height and everything specifically for the client. And so when he shoulders it, it's perfect. But yeah, it is short. <laughs> Men are a little bit further back on it, but yeah. Nah, no, probably a good rifle. <laughs> Well, it would shoot good if you can just get it licensed and get it out of here. Well, I'd be able to fucking go. So, yeah. What else have we got? Well, that, that's not saying much, Teddy. But I've never been disappointed, mate. You got anything else new? Oh, I've got lots of bulk ADI ammo. Or OSA ammo. Oh, well, that's, that's a good point. So, all of you guys that used to get the OSA and Aussie Outback uh, and Buffalo River ammo, it's, that's getting phased out. It's all still the same ammo, but it's now called ADI World Class. You're probably aware of that anyway, but that's what it is. So if you walk in and go, oh, I'm chasing Buffalo River, and we go, yep, this is the ADI, it is pretty much the exact same stuff that you're chasing. Um, however, it's just got a different name, and it's been rebranded slightly differently. Still loaded. It was all loaded by ADI. Yeah. Always has been. It's, it's the same. So it's the area projectiles, depending on whichever one you go. Um, same prop. Yeah, give or take. Yeah, oh, it was 1783, I think. Always, always the same. And we got um, some bags of 243. Yeah, we got the 243 in 87 grain VMAX and the 70 grain HP. The like a Sierra or something. Mm, yep, so. That 70 grain Sierra is what Bill shoots in his 6mm PPC. 
catch really, really well. And puts a good hole in shit. Yeah, good on foxes. Mm. Um, I actually shot plenty of rows of them as well. 13 out of 14 shots, apparently. That was my 20 cap, dumb. Dumb ones. <laughs> that was any other. 20 PPC. See how much you care? 40 gram ballistic tips. Still don't no! 40 gram VMAX. The missus just asked if I'm still at work, so. No, just tell her no. We'll have to hurry up. <laughs> so, so, just tell her no. Just tell her it's a delayed broadcast. <laughs> you tell her shit. Steph, it's just a delayed broadcast. <laughs> He's actually on his way home already. I would like to see you two fight. Because um, what's the time? It's only quarter past five, isn't it? It's quarter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, Has she got work tonight? No. No. She worries about it. She loves me. That's what I said. Oh. She's got a stunt finder. She keeps finding it. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? We got the guy in the dark knives over the back there. Come in and get them before they run out. Fuck that. Well, the dark knives. Oh, I've got a ticker of armor. You can put five creep more on the shelf. That's pretty cool. Glow in the dark knives. Glow in the dark knives. Only the handles, not the blade. Yeah, oh, I'm just slowly okay. turning this. Yeah, because you can get you can get um glow in the dark. You can get glow in the dark um paint. Yes. If you pay us enough, we'll glow, we'll paint glowing dicks on your mate's rifle if it comes in here for a bet. Or for the right amount of money. Or yours if you're that way inclined. <laughs> yeah, well, if you want them on yours. Yeah, go for it. All right, apart from that, I don't know really how much else to talk about. You know? You know? Cool. So, me and this bullfed are on tomorrow. Um, don't come in too early. Oh, cousin, his cousin's watching? Yeah, he was too. Oh, I've tested your gun, by the way. You're going to need a new gun. Hi, love. <laughs> Hi, Steph. One word. Yes, one I'm still here because he won't so shut the fuck up. We're going to have to have a conversation about that. I think we're going to have to push the throat forward a little bit. So, yeah. So, me and him on tomorrow, uh, 9 till 4. Mm. Get in. Oh, any of you been thinking about doing a long range course? We have a couple of spots opened up on the July course, which is 16th and 17th. Yeah. It's Friday, Saturday. Was get in three weeks? Yeah, not three even weeks. three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. Get in if you want to go. It's the 25th today. Yeah, it's three, three weeks. Three weeks away, yeah. Oh, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Get in. How many days in a week does he think he's fucking. I don't know, but I work all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't just get to turn up and do nothing. No, you, you work. You, you only work fucking five, maybe six days a week. You fucking hard work eight days a week. <laughs> <laughs> It would be easier. It's hard to fly like an eagle when I'm surrounded by turkeys. That's dead right, yeah, isn't it? So, these wings are flapping, but they don't go anywhere. They just keep getting pulled down by you gobblers. No, it's because you're, <laughs> right. it's because you're So, we'll catch you later. Thanks for joining us tonight, and uh, have a good weekend. Oh, no, see you tomorrow. Finger on the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I got my finger on the trigger. That's right, it's not scary. It's a gel blaster. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Stop. Which one of these? This is a gel blast. It's one we converted yeah. into a real fire. Up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right, so we'll catch you later. Thank you very much, and Thank you. have a good weekend.